The following WXE matchup was brought to you by Larry Flint's Hustler Club Detroit, located right off I-75 and Outer Drive. Stop in and spend some time with the beautiful Hustler Honeys. Really quick on the last fight, you, I, I look at a guy, um, and I don't know Matt Hall, but a guy who um, he didn't have anybody cornering him. He picked up some guys today. I question the motive behind a guy of why you would put yourself in a position like that to go into something like as serious as amateur mixed martial arts with to, what to me looked like an absolute lack of preparation. I'll tell, I agree. You, I'll tell you exactly why people do this. It's because they want the ideal of people thinking they're an MMA fighter and yep. be able to tell at the bar, oh, I'm an MMA fighter. No, you're not. You're a weekend warrior. You're yep. somebody who comes on the weekends and fights. You don't train like we do. You don't do the things we do. So don't label yourself at the same level as what we do because you are not us. You know the funny thing, I'll tell you this. Real talk. If you're an MMA fighter, your training camp will always be harder than your fights. Absolutely. Every time. The, the, the fights are the reward. That's the fun part. Because exactly. you made it through your tr training camp. Exactly. Somehow you're not injured enough to forfeit the fight. Thank you. I get to go in and smash this dude. I can't remember the last time I went to a fight 100%. Like, it shouldn't happen. No. I know this guy. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Mike is, uh, you know, his record is 0-1, but he put on a good show in last time. Another independent fighter. Um, I just, I don't know, Harley. Um, How often do we see them win? Very rarely. You, you, iron sharpens iron. And if you're working on your own, I'm not saying that it's an impossibility, but you're putting yourself at a strategic disadvantage. You're not yeah. getting multiple looks. You're not having guys going to push you yep. day in and day out. A guy like Kowalski got to Michigan top team. He got killers in there every day and every single day that he has to work with. Yeah. I mean, to me, that's a huge advantage when you're stepping into the cage. Yeah, I think I think as an amateur, you can probably win your first two, three fights being independent, screwing around in your garage. But then what happens? You're, you're running you're running to a guy that's well trained, who's fought killers day in and day out in this gym, and uh, to you, like we were just referencing, yep. you're, you're the light work. go again fight number three of the night whoa wild start big shots big wild Barry Hill wants to turn this into a brawl yeah this is this is a a technical bar fight <laughs> <laughs> as it 
Standing. Get, whoa. Burial is an lip. absolute ball of energy. My, <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, a little all bit right, of grabbing right. off to the shorts right there by, uh, by Anthony. You know, I remember this uh, guy. Remember about two, three shows ago, we guys were talking about how good this kid was who doesn't train? Yeah. Remember we, we said he needs to find a gym? Yeah. I remember that kid come, coming out, and we see him training in Lincoln. He lived in Lincoln Park. Why isn't he at MTT? I don't know. This keeps happening, though. These guys, they need a bad loss. They need to be outclassed, and then they'll figure out, like, yeah, I need more. Absolutely. You, know. you say that, but you would think Some like, that, do. A lot, you know, that makes sense. That's reasonable, but. I love that half guard here. Or is he hugging his leg? <laughs> I mean, he had. A, I mean, if he went to the lockdown here, that'd be a nice, uh, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I mean, well, I, I think what he's thinking is that hey, he's not moving anywhere, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm not sure he even he knows he's in a half guard. I don't, yeah. I'm not really sure. And here we go. He got his. Uh, got he gets stand to get, stand up and swing his uh, fists wildly again. Kinda, now he yes. I, I, My goodness. I like his sideburns. I must say. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty lethal. Wolverine in the case. Whoa! What the, what the hell was that? <laughs> the thing is this, though. He's swinging, hell. he's swinging for the fences, That's, and he hits hard. Barry Hill is throwing bombs. He's tired, though, because he's throwing 110% behind, behind everything that he's corking there. Yeah. I remember him being, looking a lot better his last fight. Kowalski seeming to settle in. How much cardio does he have left? He looks exhausted. His training camp might not have really prepared him. Or lack thereof. Yeah. Nice finish for Kowalski. Had to deal with the unorthodox approach of Barrio just basically going out there and fighting in the schoolyard, schoolyard brawl and uh, Kowalski settled in and finished. WXC Extreme Replay was brought to you by Hydro City Garden Supply. For all your indoor gardening needs, go to HydroCityUSA.com. your calendars fight fans warrior extreme returns to the southgate civic center for wxc 51 friday july 25th advanced tickets now available by going to ticketriver.com and search for wxc 51 come out and watch thomas fidoli as he faces daryl the hitman humphrey for the wxc flyweight championship advanced tickets now available by going to ticketriver.com and search for wxc 51 See you cage side. Warrior Extreme would like to thank all of our sponsors for making WXC 50 a success. Larry Flint's Hustler Club of Detroit, home of the official WXC After Party. Located at I-75 and Outer Drive, Hydro City Garden Supply. For all your indoor gardening needs, go to hydrocityusa.com. De Silva's Pawn Shop, located at 16096 Eureka Road in Southgate, Michigan. And GNC of Down River. Stop in for great discounts on nutritional supplements and more in Brownstown, Southgate, Allen Park, and Lincoln Park. GNC. Live well.